Hello, Lucas. How are Hi. you? Nice Hi. to see you. I'm fine. It's early in the morning, so we're fine. Yes. Yeah. Day two <laughs> of yeah. Superbooth 25. And uh, you guys have had a busy couple of months. Yes. You had this come out pretty recently, which has been very successful. And then this, I believe, has also just been released. So uh, maybe it might be good for us to start there and have a yes, little chat about definitely. what these are. Let's start with uh, the, the two newest ones. Uh, these are Oradea and Arat. Oradea is a quad uh, resonator. It's an all analog quad resonator. And Arat is its little sidekick expander that adds uh, quite useful, but we thought secondary functions. Um, Orada has uh, four bandpass filters um, that you can use to process sounds, you can use it to generate sounds. Uh, we wanted to make a resonator that was great for um, pinging. Uh, for that we needed a uh, very, very high resonance, very, very high Q values, uh, but we didn't want it to self-resonate, uh, so we needed to keep the noise floor very, very low, and I think we've succeeded at that, uh, because the resonance, the Q values are ridiculously high, because we didn't want to lose the, the ring out of the pings. We wanted to, the pinging to be uh, audible even at the highest frequencies, and it sounds pretty, pretty yeah, let's great. Have a let's, let's, let's hear it. So now we are using Oradea's audio input, and we're fitting it some triggers with four channels tuned to different frequencies with different peak values and apparently the same level values. <laughs> <laughs> so are these essentially like short delay lines? No, these are bandpass filters. They're band right, okay, yes. right. They're resonating bandpass filters that when you strike them, they make a sound. Yeah. And, uh, you know, physics says that the lower frequencies ring out longer and the highest frequencies ring out much, much shorter. So we wanted to okay. keep this within a reasonable range so as to preserve the, uh, the audible nature of the highest frequencies so you could actually hear them while still having that good bass yeah. uh, that could, you know, boom if you turn the, turn the picking all the way. But you can just can tighten it up because you know you don't have to use the uh, the resonance at the highest settings it's yeah it's it's great to explore the module at, at all possible yeah. settings because it hides some very very nice uh, sounds in there and we've got um, uh, each CV inputs for the frequency yes each channel has the same set of controls yeah um, frequency which covers the whole audible range Peaking and uh, volume, all of these are mm, controllable with uh, external CV or with uh, individual inputs here Very at, cool. at the top. Great. Uh, you can sequence uh, the whole thing using the all freak in input. We're using a, a sequence from MOSC for now. So does that move all of these frequencies Yes, they are together. tuned to different uh, frequencies, yeah. but they change the, the changes uh, follows the sequence. But, of course, you can use uh, frequency inputs, individual frequency yeah. inputs for the individual bands. Let's, let's hear it. We have some random modulation from Batumi, patched into the individual inputs of Orada channels. So that's changing these four yes. frequency values there. Together with the Moskva sequence that's uh, sequencing the whole module. Fantastic. But of course, you don't have to ping it. You can just use it to process signals. Ah. Now, what we hear is... Uh, is it... Uh, what is it? <laughs> what we hear is, uh, is an oscillator, it's, it's Sofia. Oh yes. So now we're processing Sofia with Orada, with four uh, bandpass filters close to 
with a high resonance. Uh, let me get back to the controls for a second. Yeah. All these uh, channels have their separate outputs together with the mix output. So you can process each band separately, externally as well. Um, you can... Uh, let's turn the oscillator down and let's use a nice... Uh, let me show you this. So now we're scrubbing Oradea's audio input with this nice spiky shape from Zada. For a very different sound, as yeah. you hear. Let's try another shape. Great, so we can go from very percussive, pingable sounds to yes. quite ambient sounds. Yes, we can. And now, another thing about uh, the pinging uh, properties of Oradea. Each channel, you probably noticed, uh, has an excite input. Yes. So you can ping these inputs, these channels separately with any gate or trigger. Now we're using a combination of lips and earth foot for generating the rhythm. And now the audio signal is turned off. So what we hear is just earth foot pinging Oradea's Excite inputs which take any trigger or gate signal and they in turn uh, trigger an internal uniform fine-tuned uh, signal that's perfect for for Oradea so no matter what you throw at it you always get a good result because no all, not all uh, signals are suitable um, for pinging resonator through the audio input so this is that's why we wanted to to add something something extra fantastic let's uh, talk about a, a bit about Arad Arad is uh, is an expander for Radea it features two rows of buttons which control the left row is for muting and unmuting the channels so we can turn these off manually or with triggers in here oh but also we can just we can just play the module oh that's neat manually <laughs> it's like a little keyboard yeah very little but yeah. it's you can get used to it yeah i think uh, also uh, Another important and handy, very handy feature feature of Arad is this this row of inputs. These are individual inputs for Oradea's uh, bandpass filters. So on the main module you have four individual outputs, mm -hmm. but these outputs, whatever is sent to the audio input. But with Arad you can uh, you add additional four external uh, sound sources and process them through separate filters and right. then use these separate outputs to process them fantastic uh, otherwise it's anywhere. just one mono input yes without that yes. so this gives you four extra four that's great. so you can actually process up to five signals with Oradea yeah if you wish. so you could have drums going into one you could have a bass line going in or whatever different sounds yes to each input yes sure sure brilliant um, the last the uh, thing about Oradea are these little face flip switches. Oh yeah. Uh, that uh, change the face of the of uh, each individual uh, channel, which is handy when you when you have the Oradea tuned to frequencies that are close, uh, that are very very close together. So there there might be some mm, un. Uh, there might be some peaking uh, appearing that you don't want there. You can just, f because of the phase interference between the frequencies, so you can just flip the, uh, the particular channel that's causing you problems and, and, and the problem is gone. Cool. Also, you can use it uh, creatively for um, uh, sound design as well. Um, Oradea is 20 HP. Arad is 
6 HP, Noradea is will be 520 euro. Okay. Arad will be 120. The modules are being produced right now, so they should be available in a month or month and a half, perhaps. Fantastic. Uh, let's talk yeah. about the one that's gone. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah. A month ago, we showed Samarkanda, a quadruple delay station, performance station, uh, which is, uh, I, was, uh, I was about to say, sadly sold out, but it's, we're quite happy about that. <laughs> uh, the second batch is being produced, so don't worry, you'll get one. Uh, this one features four identical uh, delay line channels, uh, each with the same set of controls, the time dial, the feedback control and the mix control with uh, top tempo, uh, button, reverse button, you can reverse the contents of the buffer, hold button, you can freeze the contents of the buffer so you can use it as a looper. Of course everything is uh, under CV control, uh, but the greatest thing about Samarkand, there are two, two greatest things about Samarkand. Uh, one is that the, the module has internal normalization between the channels. Uh, what it means is that the audio signal that's input into the, any of the channels is passed on to the next channel without leaving the digital domain. So no additional DACs, ADCs on the way, no uh, oh. interference, no okay. artifacts, uh, everything is kept pristine. And that is one of the reasons that you can really use this as, as quite a few, few instruments on, on their own. Uh, because you can also link the channels. So not right now these two are linked with this button. And uh, now this is the master channel, and the second channel follows the settings of the first one. So you can say, use it, uh, you can use a stereo signal with left input here and right input here, and just control it with one set of controls, which is quite convenient. Cool. Everything is uh, open and modular in nature, so uh, even the feedback path is open. You can process the feedback signal externally, you can cross patch it across the channels for some ping pong action or some pretty pretty complex uh, stuff as well. Uh, right. But the the second greatest thing <laughs> is the range. Right. Actually, there are three greatest things. <laughs> God damn. There must be quite so a lot if it's sold out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the second greatest thing is uh, is the range, which goes from starts at half a millisecond and goes up to 15 seconds per channel. So if you use the four channels at the same time, you stack them, you have a 60 seconds delay. Oh wow, so That's quite cool. long, yeah. long, long waiting for this yeah. the second, the first echo. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, that's obviously very, very wide range, so you wouldn't want to uh, adjust the time delay uh, with, with the dial alone. You have the range switch here going from X1, when, when, when the time delay follows the labels on the, on the panel, going up to 150 milliseconds through X10 up to X100, which gives you up to 15 seconds of uh, delay. And because of the, that short range, you can use it as a resonator. So you can, uh, you can do quite a lot of stuff that you, you can do with Oradea, you can do with uh, Samarkanda as well. Okay. It likes spiky shapes from Zadar from, for scraping the audio input and say you could uh, use these two uh, linked together for a dual voice resonator, use the internal normalization with the third channel being a regular delay processing the, the resonator and the fourth channel, this is, I've actually described my favorite patch for this module, In the fourth channel you set to the, you use the third greatest thing which is uh, changing the behavior. There are two behavior modes. Uh, the analog one, 
And this one, uh, Samarkanda, I mean, each separate channel of Samarkanda uh, mimics the way analog delays, BBD or tape delays act. So when you change the uh, when you change the the time, the pitch changes. But in the digital behavior, what we do is uh, there's no pitch change. We are scraping the whole contents of the buffer with crossfading, of course, to avoid clicks and, and, and crackles. But what it gives you is it gives you that very nice granular touch. So you can uh, say set the one of the channels to the digital behavior, choose the longest range. Uh, set the, uh, the mix to the maximum and uh, just use it, use uh, the time input with some random modulation and you have a granular processor. Cool. Very At the interesting. Same time, of course, uh, uh, you have to... You can, you no, I talked about the reverse function. One thing is the panic button, which we, we called purge, which because of the you have four channels and uh, various uh, crazy feedback paths you can introduce. So sometimes right. it get it can get out of hand. So when in doubt, just press purge, <laughs> and all the buffers are cleared. <laughs> right. You Useful. use this button also when you want to use uh, one of the channels, or all of the channels, as a resonator to change the uh, direction in which the time. CV input works. When this is unlit, the time input uh, follows whatever the dial is doing. So the higher the CV value, the longer the delay time, right? But if you wanted to sequence uh, a resonating delay like that, you would have it all reversed. So just press purge and select hold. It's all written on the panel. Cool. Uh, and now you've got just regular per octave uh, control. Great stuff. Fantastic. Well, I guess we should keep our eyes out for when these come back in stock. Yes, they should be in stock in a month and month or a month and a half, hopefully. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for this. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, really, really interesting stuff. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Lucas. Thanks. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers.